whatever you want. Introduce yourself. I don't want to go first. You're the one that's going first. I don't know what to say. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Shannon. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're the Hiking Hindman. So um, we're just going to go over our gear video for a Sobo Appalachian Trail through hike. Yep. Uh, this is what we'll pretty much be wearing when it's not cold. Um, I've got like Solomon, they're like X Ultra, or Trail Runners, Sol Solomon X Ultras. Dirty Girl Gators, darn tough socks with uh, smart wool liners. North Face convertible pants, Exos underwear. They're like the synthetic ones, I think. Ex officio. Ex officio. Um, smart wool t shirt, W hat, uh, Fitbit. It sucks. Don't buy them. I think that's me. Alright, so I'm wearing uh, Brooks Cascadia 11s, Patagonia baggies. I have darn tough socks on. Um, Patagonia shirt, some kind of polyester, but it feels like cotton. Um, some kind of sport watch, and I have ex officio underwear as well, and a sports bra. Hey guys, uh, Sam here, doing my section of the gear video, what's in my pack. And here we go. So, quick rundown. The Vivo Barefoot uh, camp shoes, real light, like them, walk through rivers, they stay on your feet. Uh, we got the Sawyer Squeeze, the big one, for our water. Uh, it hooks on to the old platypus bags. I don't know if it does to the new ones, and it's awesome. And then the, we're not bringing the plunger for it because the smart water bottles hook right up to this, and we just squeeze clean water through this. It gets clean. And then repair kit. I'll go over that in a probably different video. And then we have baby wipes. We take baby wipe baths every night. It just helps us stay clean and we also check for ticks at the same time uh poop shovel leave no trace bury your poop nobody wants to step in it or smell it uh zc awesome makes a rock more comfortable if you can uh rain gear uh this is my z pax medium got it that time uh my z pax medium rain cover for my pack uh it fits on the exos 38 Columbia rain pants. Not sure how long I'm going to keep those because my pants, or shorts are pants. Uh, North Face rain jacket. Had it for years. Awesome. Love it. And on to charging stuff. Um, so we have a 11, 12,000 milliamp hour solar charger. Had it for years. Waterproof, shockproof, all that fun stuff. And then we have a battery brick. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour anchor 3.0 with the quick charge. A almost definitely overkill. Whatever. Um, it's got two USB charging points on it. One's like the quick charge. One's the normal charge. And it's a micro USB input. So most of our, almost all of our things that are charged by USB are micro USB. This charges my camera battery. It's micro USB. This charges AA and AAA rechargeable batteries. It's micro USB. And this is the anchor wall plug-in for whenever we're in town and we want to charge stuff. Uh, it's got the normal USB charger and the quick USB charger. And then assorted cables are inside for iPhone and just two micro USB chargers. And then this is how I'm going to transfer footage from the iPhone, which I'm going to be recording everything on. Um, if it gets too full or something like that, we, and I, I can't dump them yet, um, I just have this little dongle with a SD card and I can just dump them to this. and. It clears out all my storage. Now, food bag. It's a 20, uh, 20 liter Sea to Summit and it's inside out. So, and this is our insulator kit and we have a Tokes spork or spoon, Tokes spoon, uh, the long handled one. Uh, love this thing. You don't get your, your hand dirty when you're digging in your food, your bag or food. Rain fly or mosquito net for your head. Um, that's going to be super useful, main, black flies, all that fun stuff. And then our puffy jacket, it's the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. It doesn't have the hood on it. I'm okay with that. Um, I like it not having the hood. Um, and then my clothes, I have a spare pair of underwear. This is town crap uh, while I'm doing laundry. Uh, just like gym shorts, uh, Patagonia, Capoline, uh, synthetic shirt, a smart wool hat, uh, some thin gloves. Uh, buff when it gets cold, and then the pants to my North Face sh convertible shorts, and then a Columbia fleece. Some darn tough hiking socks, back up as well. And then in this little bag, I have the bear rope, uh, zombie dice to keep us entertained for if it rains, and then I have my headlamp as well, and radar spot. Good shot, good girl. 
And then I've got some backup rope because you can never not have enough rope. And then this is our tent. It is a Z-Pack duplex tent. I uh, love the thing, it weighs 22 ounces, super light, awesome, absolutely love it. And then we have our trekking poles, they're lucky trekking poles. And then cheap sunglasses, got online at Amazon, got like three of them for like 12 bucks, and Radar wants love. Uh, this is my old iPhone 4S. This is what I'm gonna be putting uh, music and everything on, and then just cheap headphones, so. And then this is what my quilt is in, Enlightened Equipment Revolution. Yeah, it's six foot, 30 degree bag. I think I got the wide. I got the Thermarest Neo Air x Light. It's the four foot long one, it's 48 inches. Cause my feet just kind of hang off the bottom, but I use my Z seat and just like the other spare clothes or whatever on the bottom if I need more insulation. So it's fine. The bag is what I put rocks in when I'm hanging a bear bag. So got a carabiner on that for that. And sleep clothes, I got the Smart Wool Merino Wool um, long johns pretty much and then just a pair of wool socks keeps you nice and warm and then this is my camera bag that's just on my front of my chest it's gonna have the AT guide in it and the camera it's waterproof I've got some padding in there and this is the camera we're bringing a Nikon camera because we're going on a trip of a lifetime I'd like to have good pictures and no an iPhone does not take the same pictures my dad's a photographer and he will go on forever about this it's the lens trust me AT guide southbound we're also gonna get the gut hook app because why not? Cabela's, little multi-tool, probably overkill, but whatever. And then this is our new backpacks. Uh, we just got the Osprey Exos 38 liter. Love them. Hand sanitizer, because nobody likes to eat poop. Keeping the brain on it. Uh, it's got a water bladder that's on the inside of it. It's got these sweet little pockets. I'm sure we'll do a review on that. Oh, and we also, what I'm sitting on is the Z-Packs like ground tarp. Yeah. I think that does it for me. Oh, my toiletries. Radar taking your shoe away. Oh, radar is taking my shoe away. Where am I? Ah, toiletries. So I'm blind. I've got astigmatism. So I got to have contacts. Eh, I can wear glasses, but I don't. I haven't worn glasses since like high school. So glasses and contacts. Deodorant. Body glide. Uh, body glide. I burped on that one. Contact solution. Toothpaste. Fold up toothbrush. It like has its own little case in there, and it's also like full size, which is nice. And toenail clippers. Stuff sack. I think that's it. Hey guys, I'm just going to go over what is inside my pack for the trail. Um, I have my West Virginia hat that I'm bringing, my camp shoes slash Fording Rivers, they're the same as Sam's, the Vivo Barefoot, they're kind of heavy, Thermarest Z seat. This is my uh, West Virginia flag, it's mainly for us taking pictures at the top of summits. But we have to represent West Virginia since we haven't been living there for the past few years and it sucks. These are my rain pants. They're Sierra Design sprain pants. Um, mainly going to be wearing them for warmth since I'm not bringing in any other type of pants. Um, this is my North Face Venture jacket. Rain jacket. It has the pit zip. Uh, Z-Packs pack cover size medium. It fits our bags. And I have a bug net for Maine. Black flies are really bad. So since Sam is carrying the tent, I'm carrying our cook system. Um, this is just the stuff sack for the cook system. I have a two liter dirty water platypus. It fits on the Sawyer. I know some people say that they don't, but this one does. Um, this is our fuel for our stove. Thick. Um, this is our stove. It's an Optimus stove. It, we've had it for years. It flips up. This is a little case for the stove. Oven mitt. Sam mitt. This is our uh, Snow Peak 900 milliliter titanium pot with the lid. But this is my Tokes Lawn handled spoon. Um, I'm going to carry a stuff sack. It'll just keep, I don't care about the weight, it'll just keep my spoon a little cleaner. This is my pocket knife. It's some kind of little Gerber. This is my food cozy Sam made. This is going to be my food bag slash bear bag. It's a 20 liter Sea to Summit dry bag. Toiletry wise, this is my toiletry bag. I'm taking a pair of scissors, tweezers. This is uh, bug spray and the bug spray also has sunscreen in it. I'm very pasty. I burn really easily. So, um, Also a different, this is sunscreen. It's not, it's not whatever this says. It's, um, it also has bug repellent in it. Conditioner for my hair, uh, Dr. Bronner's uh, travel toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, little deodorant. This is my hairbrush. Um, it flips open. It has a mirror in it. 
extra hair tie, chapstick, hand sanitizer. This is going to go on the outside of my pack. And toilet paper. This is our first aid kit. Really small. It just has ibuprofen, Benadryl, Pepto, safety pins, the specific band-aid, blister, healers, I guess is what they call, uh, KT tape, alcohol swabs. Okay, electronics-wise, I have the Black Diamond Spot, I believe. I don't know. We've had it for we've each had one for years, and it still works, so it's fine. I'm gonna be carrying the spot right here, so people can track where we are and know that we're still alive. Um, this is my iPhone 6. Um, use it to take pictures. I'm gonna have my music on there. I have a lightproof case. This one's broken, but I have a new one. Apple headphones. We're also gonna be carrying the stick pick, and then we have an iPhone holder. Bandana, Pactel, ShamWow. Okay, clothes wise, I have the Ghost Whisperer uh, Mountain Hardware Puffy down jacket. It doesn't have the hood. I kind of wish I had the hood because I'm always cold. This is my fleece. It's a Patagonia R1. Extra, 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 ex official underwear, extra sports bra. I don't know. I might end up sending those home. Um, sleep wise, I have ski socks, super warm, and then a long sleeve merino wool and long sleeve, or, and then leggings, merino wool leggings. These are my town clothes. This is just a quick dry pair of shorts and a Patagonia Capoline base layer. Extra pair of darn tough socks. They're the longer version. z packs fleece hat. Some kind of gloves. And a buff. Um, this is my luxury item, I guess. It's the Thermarest pump sack for the air mattresses. I blew my air mattress up once and I thought I was going to pass out, so that's not something I plan on hiking 15 miles and blowing up when I get home, or when I get back to camp. This is my sleeping pad, it's the Thermarest Neo Air x Lite. it's the warmer version, the winter version, the silver one, um, R rating of 5. I'm cold all the time, so we've taken this out, I usually have radar in the bag with me, but it should be okay. This is my quilt. It's the Enlightened Equipment 800 fill 20 degree quilt. It's the Revelation. Has the little straps to go around the sleeping pad. It's in a Z Pax um, Cuban fiber dry sack with the fleece lining in there. These are my trekking poles. They're the same as Sam's. There's a women's version, I believe, but I didn't feel like paying $30 more. These work fine. They have the snap lock on them. This is my smart water bottle. I'm mostly going to carry this empty, and when we get to a water source, I'm going to fill it up and put Propel in it. And then this is my bag. Once again, same as Sam's, just different color. It's the Osprey Exos 38 liter. Um, Water-wise, I'm going to have the bladder as well. I don't know. I had the I had the Osprey Aura. It was really really comfortable but the straps were too, the hip straps were too large. So, we got this. And that's all my stuff. All right guys, that's our gear video for a Sobo Appalachian Trail through hike. Hopefully we'll make it all the way to Georgia. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, just leave them below, Sam will answer them. Oh, I'm also bringing a tripod which is being used right now, so not in the video. Nope. She's not coming. For anybody that has those questions, she's not coming. My folks are taking her. Um, yeah. but don't forget to like us and follow us on YouTube and Instagram at The Hiking Hymans. And that's all we got. Stay tuned, guys. And remember, never trust a wet rock. <laughs> He's found it down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm eastbound, just watch your bandit run.